probably be wondering wow this is a different setup and a video is coming soon at some point of a new tour and whatever of my new room so today i thought i'd bring you along with me reorganizing all the pens that i've been holding for the past about two years in preparation for uni now i can keep them all nice and safe at home because most of my lessons are going to be online so I need to have a very nice and organised space and my old space was getting rather cluttered and now I have a brand new space it's going to be amazing and I can have it all organised and all beautiful and very aesthetic and I hope you enjoy me being OCD so then this was my current like little storage unit for all my pens and stuff you can see it's now gotten quite disorganised. I used to have like black and blue pens, pencils in that one and then like coloured pens and then like glue sticks and stuff and it's just all gotten, I don't even know, just shoved everywhere and anywhere. And then this box here contains all the pens that I've hoarded over the past couple of years. That all nice and tidied away. Here is everything that I've saved up over the past couple of years to put into my new organisation system. It all looks so pretty. Some of it is open as you can see the pencils there because they're from bigger packs that I've took like pens out of. I'm gonna start off with like normal black handwriting pens in like the main bit. So here's some soft big pens, soft grip ones. I have opened these before so they are do I think there might be one less in them? But I'm going to pop them in first. Also at this point that I sort of began to realise that's a stupid position for my camera to be in and slowly shifted it across <laughs> so up oh, these ones are my up in my favorite pens not maybe maybe not my favorite pen in the entire world but they're the pen i pick up most often because they're also quite cheap and they're quite nice writers as well these i've never actually wrote with before but i've seen quite a lot of good recommendations on them for like because i like smooth ink pens as well i'm quite a big fan of gel pens but i'm sort of trying to stop using them as much because they're quite smudgy these are the other types of pens that i like so as you can see like the grip they are a lot thicker but the grip's quite nice on my fingers for if i'm writing for a long period of time they're also quite smooth with the ink the ball's quite smooth sometimes you can find like cheaper big pens they like cut out sometimes here I just have some pure black pencils, just from Asda, these ones. They, I like getting the pencils with an eraser on the end, but I also like having like an eraser at the side because whenever the eraser runs out, it is dreadful. Here I'm moving the original big soft grip ones out of the way because the pencils are longer and they won't fit long ways. These ones I've also never wrote with before. My granddad picked them up from the works for me the other day but um, again I like smooth roller balls and when I open these they feel amazing they've got like a coating on the pen and it, they're like really nice and smooth so I'd imagine like if you're writing for a long period of time and your hand might start sweating it won't like slip because it's sort of matte smooth the ones that I'm also really excited about they're made from like a wheat plant so like instead of it being plastic it's completely decomposable and recyclable and I really 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 hope that they write really nice as well because it would be amazing and I buy them all the time. These ones are just you know your generic paper mate clicky pens they're okay as like emergency pens I'm not a huge fan of them because the like grooves in the grip sort of like hurt and often cut my skin but if I ever need a pen in a pinch. So these ones I'm trying as a substitute for gel pens. I've used the black one once in work before and I really really loved it and it was like the same sort of consistency and smooth writing font and calligraphiness of a gel pen but it didn't actually smudge so I'll give it a go see what it's like. It's the same type of thing with these ones. I'm trying these out because they're supposed to be sort of like a smooth needle point um, gel pen but roller ball at the same time so I'll let you know I've, n I've never wrote with anything like that before really so I'll let you know what they're like I got multiple colours in them once as well so now I'm just going to throw in a couple of the pens that I've kept from 
before so like I really like this that's another quite inky fine point pen I'll pop that at the back uh, these are my very very special pens so I have a nice fine point Jack Skellington pen he should glow in the dark but it's obviously not going to show you here because I have a really bright light shining on it so yes it's very cute the little kitty cat was the first ever purchase I made is from an uh, online Japanese kawaii stationery brand and it is the first and only one I've ever done also showing you the fine point of Mrs Jack Skellington there very nice and of course you know I have to have something Harry Potter so this is the little pot figure chupacabra pen from the Crimes of Grindelwald it didn't actually come with a pen lid when I bought it but it's not dried up yet I'm assuming they should come with a pen lid but none of them had a pen lid when I was buying and then you know the generic rubby outy pens you gotta love them just in case can't write an exam with them ones though these two are ones that I bought when we used to have like a stationery shop at college they were supposed to be like fine liners for art students but I really liked them to do my mind maps with so as soon as they stopped selling them I stopped using them because I didn't want to lose the last two ones that I had because they are amazing this one's another like generic inky pen that I have in like just because I found it once and it dries really fast so yeah that's a nice one then the next one up is one of my prized possessions it is my lucky fountain pen uh, I don't use it that often and I'm rubbish at writing with it because I just am uh, I got it for Christmas one year and it's amazing so I use, save it for very special things I also have like the ink cartridges with it they were in a box originally but it just takes up too much space so I just chuck them anywhere they're from Home Bargains by the way, very nice cheap place to get inks from and that is a box number one done. So my next one's going to be coloured, uh, I'm going to try and do them like in colour sections. Uh, these are, are the amazing big pens that are so smooth to write. I'm going to keep these ones in the actual pouch thing that they come in just because it's easier to keep them all together whereas these ones I use quite a lot so I'm just going to chuck them into a drawer. So at first I attempted to sort of put them all in like facing lengthways so you could see the colour at the base of the drawer. Uh, it was rather hard. Uh, even though it was a full packet I thought it was weird as well the fact that there were only two purple and two green but three blue and three pink. I'm not sure why they do that. Maybe it's people use the pink and the blue more often than the others I'm not sure I quite like the purple to be honest the green can be a bit patchy sometimes but no then I was going to add the paper mate pens from the packets that I opened before for the black ones so I just wanted to add them in and I realized I had dark blue dark green and red and I didn't have any of them colors yet so I wasn't quite sure where I was going to move them and then I realized oh no with the lids on they're too big to fit like lengthways so I wasn't going to be able to order them lengthways and give myself more room and I had a little bit of breakdown. I then spent about an hour trying to figure out how to fit these stupid pens into the drawer. Um, I tried maybe thinking of putting like all the different colour of the same, well not the same colour but different pen styles at the back and then I tried moving them to fit them in diagonally and I tried all sorts, it didn't go down well. These are some more Sharpies that I'm trying, again just because they won't bleed through the paper and hopefully they're going to be a smooth rollerball. Again these are some that I'm going to be keeping in their actual case because they're too pretty to take out and ruin the order. Um, I did lower myself to get a few gel pens because you can never go wrong with some gold and silver gel pens. It was at this point that I gave up on the whole diagonal thing and just took them all out and started again. So with all the new ones in I decided to go back through all my old ones and put in some of my favourites. This guy is, although it might be a blue pen and I don't write with blue pens a lot of the time because I prefer black like my soul, he is a gorgeous writer. It's so smooth and inky and amazing. The rest are just sort of generic ones, they don't really need an explanation, just generic coloured pens. 
And then I have the gel pens that I'm clinging on to for dear life because they're my children and they're what I've used for years and years. But I need to stop using them because I can't have smudgy work anymore. But they're my children. Then it's on to the highlighter section. So to start off with, these are some more highlighters from the works that my granddad picked me up the other day. They seem quite nice, like generic bright highlighters. Again, I'm going to try and do the section by colour. Uh, these are Bic highlighters which I've used quite often. They're quite nice, they've got like a slanted tip so you can do like little fine details. You can write with them or like highlight with them, they're quite nice. And they come with a blue, so that's always a perk. And now, I know this might be a bit of overkill, but I have a giant box of just pure yellow highlighters. I know what you're probably thinking, why do you need so many? But the amount of times that I lose highlighters, specifically the yellow ones, is just unbelievable. So if I just get a giant box of them, then I'll never run out. And then, what every student who's aiming for aesthetic must have, the pastel highlighters. Now, I've never actually used these before. Well, I've used them, but I've not never actually purchased them before. These are not going to be leaving my house because somebody will nick them if I take them somewhere. So I went through another bit of a crisis and reorganised them around to fit them a bit better in and I decided I wasn't going to put all the pastel highlighters in because I wanted to save some when the others run out. These are also some really little cute sharky ones that I got. My final box is going to be pencils and like post-it notes and whiteboard pens and rubbers and stuff like that. Just like odd bits that I need to put in. These are some really cool pencils that I got from a pack a couple of years ago. Uh, well, I got them in a pack with big pens, but these cool like stripy pencils I didn't want to use. I wanted to save them so I looked cool when I was writing with them. Um, so I'm popping them in. Along with these greeny, tealy coloured big pencils, which are quite soft actually to write with. They're not like hair pencil, they're quite soft, so I like them quite a bit. I then have these ones from the works again, which I've never used, but I'm hoping are going to be amazing because they have rainbow coloured grips and rainbow rubbers. So, yes, they are amazing. These ones are actually something I got for my birthday. Uh, I've saved from them. They're really cute like rubbers and pencils and there's some with like cute little hamsters and food uh, post-it notes and they're just adorable and I've saved them for so long and I'm so excited to use them. I also have like cactus post-it notes which are really cute as well. Then I'm just sort of squidging in the hard of post-it notes that I've collected. Uh, I've also got some cute like little focus notes that you can like pin on the edge of a uh, like work maybe or like at the front of a file so you can jot stuff down and tick stuff off in a tick list. Then I'm adding in all like my pencils that I'm saving. This little guy is one of my faves. Uh, my sister got him me years ago from Alton Towers like when she was in high school and um, mind you she's now got a master's degree. <laughs> then I'm just adding in bits and bobs like rubbers and sharpeners that I just have lying around. Adorable, these little post it notes are. They're so cute. I wanted them. They're so cute. One, one. They are a bit thin, but mm, there's not that many, so might be a bit of a steep price. I don't really know how much my mum paid for them. They were a birthday gift. And then rulers, of course, you can't forget rulers. And then these cute little rubbers that came in the packs as well. They have little cute little animated faces on them. Uh, then I have my larger white ball pens that won't fit in the bag that I have attached to my whiteboard because I've got like a bag for smaller pens that fit in so I have like the generic normal whiteboard pens then I have double ended whiteboard pens that are different colours they're all thick tipped ones and then my whiteboard and chalkboard rubber and then we're done I really really love this so much I'm determined to keep the layout perfect as well I added a few more bits like uh, the glue and the tape I just sort of pop them in the, um, the drawers and catching at all now. They're just some white labels that I've added in as well. Do you know, like name labels that you can just stick on stuff. I've also added some Tipex in because you always need some Tipex, uh, along with a compass. So beautiful, so colourful, 
so very nice. I'm going to keep these perfect. Also on top I've put my the coloured pens that I was keeping in the packets and the highlighters in my new Harry Potter pencil case and I have a blue aesthetic going on on top so a blue highlighter, blue hole puncher and then these little doodads so there's like pins, clips and uh, paper clips in there, they're quite nice. I absolutely love that pencil case. Then I have my revision cards and then my like journal and noting um, post-it notes and then a little Sagittarius cup with multicoloured paper clips in there and my little memo pads and post-it notes. Yes, it's very cute, very pretty. So I hope you enjoyed this little organisation and clear out with me. It was actually quite fun to do and I'm determined to keep it pristine for you guys. So yes, thank you very much. Job well done. Bye.